with An Jong Lim. She's a lecturer of Korea studies at Johns Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies. And I asked her if there's a chance that scheduled family reunions between the North and South could be canceled. It again, I mean, it's going to pretty much depend on again what's, uh, what will happen <laughs> before that. That is what South Korean government definitely wanted to um, be done with this uh, very politically and socially super, super important issue for us uh, before, um, before actually their, that anniversary. But it was not um, possible as we all know now. But there are a series of variables again, uh, including this possibility of launching missile or consecutively, how can I say, the, um, consecutive and other like a series of um, that kind of provocations. Mm -hmm, including nuclear tests, possibly, or President Xi's visit to here, to Washington, or President Park's visit to New York, or even to Washington a little bit later. So I think uh, there are many other variables. Uh, almost half of the uh, that, uh, separate, separated family uh, already passed away, and majority of them are um, in their 80s at least, or 90s. So. Um, they are, you know, they, they don't have much time I mean, to wait for another chance. So I think um, there is a sympathy, but there is no consensus. You mentioned President Xi Jinping's state mm -hmm. visit to Washington. Mm -hmm. You also mentioned the South Korea's mm -hmm. uh, president's yes. visit to Washington. Yes. We also have the United Nations General yeah, Assembly underway Assembly. in New York. Uh -huh. So how big of an issue will the DPRK be or should be mm -hmm. uh, in these areas where, where you have all these world leaders meeting together? I think f from Pyongyang's point of view, um, if I'm extending my own imaginary <laughs> capability, I don't think they do have many other options uh, with, um, except launching missile or showing something uh, to, to attract more attentions or to call for another like uh, dialogues. But the only um, variable I'm concerning is their own real capability, how, how ready uh, they are. It looks like, again, the facilities are pretty ready to go. Again, the modernization of the, uh, uh, the launching, launching site is already, looks like it's already done. Or like, yeah, we do see many of those you know, satellite images that shows um, that kind of evidence. But the thing is, you know, how precisely they can launch the, uh, the missile to wherever they want. So I think uh, rather than just intention, their intention is already there, I think. But um, the capability might be the uh, real actually variable from their point of view. So all these countries, how, how, how can we deal with this, I mean, as a kind of uh, preemptive um, action. I mean, the top leaders are gathering together uh, here in, uh, in the United States. So in that sense, I think uh, um, the circumstances can be pretty congenial for, um, for the dialogues among us.